Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will explore Xamarin Android Web View inside the Visual Studio 2019. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get to it then. So Web View allows you to create your own window for viewing web pages or even develop a complete browser. So in this video, we will create a very simple activity that we can actually navigate with web pages, right? So before we go ahead, so make sure you've got um, Xamarin, uh, Xamarin installed on your system. I'm not gonna show you everything because I've already got some videos on that. So let's get to it then. So to get started, obviously, you need to open your Visual Studio so as you can see, I've got a blank Visual Studio. So we go to create a new project. So here we can select what type of project that we want to create. In this scenario, obviously we're going to select the C Sharp, the Android, and then we're just going to leave it at all projects. I mean, all project types, right? So here we're going to select Android application, Xamarin. So we click on the next. So here you can configure your project details here, yeah. like the project name, the solution location and the solution name. You can put your solution name here or you can create a new solution or you can actually select an existing solution. So here, of course, you can put your solution name. So you can select the name that is applicable to whatever you're doing. So once you've got this bit sorted out, then we click on the next, I mean on the create. So here we actually prompted with a new Android application dialog here. So we select what type of Android template that is applicable to what we're actually doing. In this case, we're just going to select the blank application. So once this bit is selected and we click on OK again. So we just feel, wait for a few moments for the new project to load. As you can see, it did not take that long. So I'm just going to make this bit 100. So here, we just wait as the, the background task I mean, complete. So I'm just going to remove this bit here. So I'm just going to remove this part here. Um, the label, we're just going to change the label, we just put something like uh, web view app. Then we're just going to ignore the style as we're not going to emphasize or place more emphasis on styling. So we're just going to leave this bit here. So what we do is we, we just come inside uh, the project, we come inside the resources, the layout, so the activity main. So this is what we've opened here. So we're just gonna um, check what's inside here. So here, as you can see here, we've got um, a relative layout. So we just we're just gonna remove that bit here the, the relative layout and we're going to make it web view. So we, we will move this bit here and then we're just going to put a forward slash. So we just, we've actually changed this bit to a web view. So we, we, we're just going to leave the Android schema. So we, we remove the tool in here. So this part, yeah, we're just going to put Android ID. Oh, sorry. Plus ID and the forward slash. Uh, just gonna pause it for okay what i'm gonna do is just instead of typing i'm just gonna copy and paste it here so you can actually look at it and type it yourself 
just to save time because this this bit is not really important so this is what i have here so what i've just added is just the, the web view and then the the id so i've not really changed much so you can have a look yeah so we're just gonna save this part and then we come to the main activity now so here what we do is we add a so inside a, the class we're gonna add a, a private field this this field will be um, web view So we're just going to using we're gonna put using the Android or web kit, right? So this error will go away. So once that bit is sorted out, right after the uh, the resource the layout dot I mean the set content view, this is what we're going to put. We're gonna set the value. Um the web view is gonna set it to equal to um, before we do that actually we're just gonna build it first so that whatever changes that we've made it on the on the activity dot and underscore main the XML will take effect so I'm just gonna rip I'm just gonna build it so once the build succeeds then we can go ahead so after the set content view we're gonna put the, the web view here is equal to um, find view by ID so we're gonna put a, a web view so inside this here we're gonna put the resource the ID dot web view this is the one that we've just set out so the next bit of course is we put uh, the web view dot settings dot javascript web view dot settings dot javascript enabled we set that to true then we put uh, we set the web view dot load URI. So here we put we put um, we put the web link inside here the 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 the, 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 the website that we want to visit. So it's a double coat and we can say https colon double forward slash www dot bt dot com forward slash sports so this is this is all that we we, we need to do so i'm we're just going to run it to see what actually comes out of it so i'm just going to pause it if we actually be we get the web view opened with the bt.com forward slash um sports let's wait and see what actually comes out so while it's up i mean loading there's one more thing that we should have done that i mean i didn't put it so we're gonna have to come inside the properties so we might get the thing not loaded you see so that what we should have done is is what we're going to do now so inside the properties we come inside the android manifest so we scroll down so the permissions we have to come in look for the i i i i for internet so we have to check this box here and we save it so we run it we run it again so basically we're just waiting for the deployment to start so i'm just going to pause it again so as you can see here now we've got the the web view app and then we've got a actually 
the web page is being shown inside the web view so as you can see here and it's not it's not really complicated so I'm just gonna leave it this this here and I hope you can build on your knowledge so if you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure you do because I've got lots of videos coming up and I hope you have a lovely morning afternoon evening wherever you are stay blessed and peace bye bye